Hey guys, Megan Lynn here. How is everybody? Happy, happy Monday. Um, I'm going to continue on with the little series here. Um, and I'm sorry, I was going to do some more videos this weekend, but that just didn't happen because it didn't. So, <laughs> um, But thank you so much for all the new subscribers and um, everybody who's been like commenting and things like that. I really, really appreciate your guys' like, input and um, you know also like things that you guys want to hear about. Um, again, I'm going to apologize for the lighting because I am going in the sun again but um, yeah for those of you new to the channel spiritual empress um, I have a lot of different shit on here so you can go way back I talk about mediumship and entities and a bunch of other stuff too other than astrology but um, it's kind of like the subscribers create the channel and whatever they want to hear about this is currently what they're wanting so <laughs> um, okay yes yeah, so I wanted to do so you guys are like giving me matchups that are like pretty freaking decent for Aquarius. Aquarius and like air signs or fire signs. Um, I kind of wanted to do a little bit more of the challenging ones, but um, Aries was next. So I'll just do Aquarius and Aries. Um, I don't know why people have like, uh, I think people get really confused with Aries. Um, I don't because for some reason, I don't know if you guys have charted yourself. Um, your placements. My Venus is in Pisces, so I tend to attract a lot of Venus and Aries people, so I understand Aries pretty well. Um, but as far as Aquarius and Aries getting together, that is really, really a spicy <laughs> combination. Um, I can say from my experience, I'll kind of, I'll, I'll do some negative and some positive. Um, Aries and Aquarius, I mean, air signs feed fire signs. So, um, Aries is what I call the little, the little boy of the Zodiac. He's the firstborn baby. So, um, they definitely, um, have an entitlement to them. Um, they can be self-centered, but Aries can actually be somebody that Aquarius is really drawn to. Um, and Aries is going to be drawn to Aquarius's, um, you know, a lot of Aquariuses are very sassy, um, they're very smart, um, a lot of them are very adventurous and independent, so Aries definitely likes, and this is a caveat, they like a strong partner, but to a degree, because Aries comes first, so an Aries will always put their opinion above everybody else's, or, um, you know, it's kind of their way or the highway, so they'll be attracted to Aquarius for that. Aquarius will be attracted to, um, Aries can be very big hearted. Um, they can be very fun. Um, yes, they tend to be hotheads, but an Aquarius is usually fine at simmering that. But um, with an Aquarius and Aries, I can say like that is probably hands down the best date I've ever been on was with this Aries. Um, and that was just like a short lived kind of fling, but like I really, we really liked each other, I think. Um, so that was hands down like and an Aries will go above and beyond especially if they're doing a task for somebody because they like to show off <laughs> so it's very very endearing to an Aquarius um, when they have an Aries because an Aries um, tends to have the need to want to take care of you um, whereas an Aquarius is always very like humanitarian where they want to help the Aries out so it's actually a really good combination um, I think for not like just a love connection, like I think for getting projects done and things like that, an Aquarius and an Aries um, are really good and they're very, um, they really like being sounding boards for each other. So um, I know like, and you can't bullshit a bullshitter, like an Aries loves it. So an Aquarius likes to bullshit and so does an Aries. So it can be a really, really fun dynamic. Um, it's really great for a fling. Um, it can be really great long term too. Um, so as far as Aquarius and Aries, and Aries is going to want, it's going to demand most of your attention, so um, they're, they're pretty much going to want you to be kind of on call, I like to call it, um, for their activities or their hobbies. Um, they like to show off their hobbies to you, um, things that they're good at, they like to show off to you. Um, you know, and Aquarius really likes that they have a zest for life and a zest for... Um, I can say a lot of Aries help a lot of their friends a lot, so um, they'll have a lot of fun together, a lot of adventures. Um, the chemistry is really, really good. Um, I can say that the chemistry is really good with an Aquarius and an Aries. Um, the thing that you guys may run into that may be a little bit of an issue is when you guys first start dating, um, 
As far as an Aquarius starting the date in Aries, be very careful with an Aries because an Aries, because he is a ram, he jumps in head first. So an Aries doesn't always think before they jump. Um, so when they're starting to date somebody, they may be really infatuated really quick and they may um, rush into either a relationship or moving in together or being serious or, um, you know, sleeping together, whatever. They may do that really, really fast and that's because an Aries gets very caught in the moment. So the problem with this is Aquarius is usually not that way. I can say an Aquarius with an Aries can get caught up too because they both fuel each other so well. Um, so they also make excellent friends. Um, so, you know, the, an Aries can come off very charming, um, could be very convincing because um, they do have like a very, um, like kind of a childlike innocence to them in a way, but um, they will convince a, an Aquarius, they can convince an Aquarius to get caught up in the moment too, which um, Aquarius kind of likes that because, um, you know, Aquarius is tend not to be very um, fiery themselves, so they, they actually really like that quality. So be very, very careful if you're an Aquarius going to date an Aries. If they start moving really fast, um, I would pull the brakes on it um, because an Aries likes to chase their tail in a sense. <laughs> Once they catch the tail, they don't know what the fuck to do with it. <laughs> so um, I can say um, if you can make an Aries wait or chase, um, they're really good at that. And, and also you have to keep them interested and you have to uh, show that you're a challenge. Um, if you give in to them too quickly, um, they lose interest very fast too. Just as quickly as they can get infatuated, they fall out quickly too. So um, if you can just like pump the brakes with that, just be careful about moving too fast um, because just as quickly as they fall in, they fall out. So um, other than that though, an Aquarius and Aries is tons of fun. Um, I know like mine like being outside and camping and things like that, going to the lake, like everything was really fun. Um, there was always like friends around. Um, if we each wanted to do different things, it was fun because we would give each other the space to do it. But like the second that we got the space to do it, we'd be like, it's not as fun when you're not here, you know? So, um, just tons and tons of fun, um, really good conversations and a lot of laughing. So, um, another issue that you might run into, I mean, Aries does have a temper. Um, and probably the, the part of Aquarius that's really controlled in, in a really controlled like as far as if an Aquarius gets mad they can control it for a really long time um, they usually can con control their uh, mannerisms or speech things like that this makes the, the Aries feel like you don't care at times when it's not true you're just trying to have a discussion instead of an argument so um, I could say I've gotten a couple Aries quite pissed off at me um, because I pulled my shit together <laughs> during a, a discussion whereas an Aries is very fiery and impulsive and wants everything done soon um, you know an Aries anger is very short-lived um, they may get go you know go see red or something like that but then it's like over and they're ready to cuddle again it's really weird so um, Aquarius is not like that uh, Aquarius takes things kind of personally if you cross lines um, and Aquarius like I said does not like outlandish behavior so um, yeah, I can say I've gotten a couple pissed off. I mean, where they've like punched holes in the wall. They got so frustrated with my calmness. <laughs> so, um, yeah, as far as that goes, uh, that's a really, really great combination. Lots of fun. Um, but yeah, just worry about moving too fast as far as Aries goes. Again, like you guys are giving me like really easy matchups. Like they're, they're very, um, complimentary. Um, just know with an Aries, you're going to kind of have to mommy them a little bit. Um, you know, whether that's guys or girls or whatever, um, they do like to be baby to a degree and that's because they are the baby. Um, so, um, you might have to do a little bit of like mothering. They like that. Um, just don't tell them what to do. Um, and they'll respect when you stand in your own too. So, um, always make sure to like give them an opinion. Um, don't be vague with an Aries. They hate that shit. And also Aries isn't they can be very smart, but like they're not overly emotionally analytical about stuff. So just make sure like if they ask you what's wrong, like I had some that I like some that I was talking to or whatever. And like, they're very like, if they piss you off and they ask you what's wrong and you're like that chick, that's like nothing. I'm fine. When really, I mean, something's obviously wrong um they hate that shit like be straight up with them because they want somebody who will like challenge them um i can say i've literally had 
a couple that would just straight up were like, hey, when I asked you what was wrong, you just told me what was wrong. Thank you for that. I really respect that, you know. Um, so don't be like emotionally manipulative or vague or, um, you know, call it like you see it. Um, also have an opinion of your own. They like that, um, especially if it agrees with them. <laughs> don't have too much of your own opinion when you're disagreeing with them all the time. They don't like that, but... Um, but yeah, they're just they're just very headstrong. But it can be, you know, in Aries, Aries typically likes to are very protective. They like to take care of people or take care of their family and things like that. So, um, you know, it really is kind of a, a loyalty and a um, something to be admired. Um, also, typically, if an Aries has decided to stop being a player, um, they can have jealous streaks to them. So. Um, that's one thing with Aquarius that Aquarius will have to get because Aquarius is typically not a jealous uh, creature. Um, with an Aries, they can have a, a tendency towards jealousy or, um, you know, and it really is, um, a lot of it too is they're very protective. So like if they may ask you a lot of questions, it's because a lot of times they wanna make sure that you're okay, but they do have like a possessive streak to them. Um, so just make sure like when you're, you know, you're always being honest with them. Um, don't threaten them with shit. Like, they, they're very territorial. They could be very territorial is the only thing. So don't, like, threaten them with going and dating other people or seeing other people or playing games like that because an Aries just really quickly, that that possessiveness in them, it just shuts, up, shuts everything off if they think that you're seeing somebody else or, um, you know, anything like that. So... Yeah, that's just my little rant on Aries. Um, I guess I'll do, let's see, I got for um, Aquarius and Cancer, Aquarius and Leo. Somebody wanted to hear another one, I'll have to look it up. Um, but thank you, thank you, you guys, for um, you know all the commenting and sharing. And um, I hope everybody's had a good Monday so far. I've been up since like 1.30 in the morning. So sorry if this video is like a little scattered. It's because I'm scattered, so. <laughs> all right, but I love you guys. Thanks so much. Please let me know what you want to hear about. I do offer personal readings. I missed some emails this weekend from people asking for them. Um, yeah, I do them. I do them over Skype too. So, um, cards or energy, or if you guys just have like general like spirit questions that you want to ask, I do those too. So, all right guys, love you and we'll talk soon. Bye.